Hey everyone, Peter Edison here. Just to show you a couple of things in Config Manager. Uh, this short video is going to be how to uh, add the OMS connector into Config Manager so you can connect your OMS workspace with Config Manager and get various uh, reporting information and patching and a few other things. Uh, so I'm just going to take you through this. There's been a few changes over the course of this feature uh, within the Config Manager portal. Um, the one I'm looking at right now is technical preview um, 1710 although it looks very similar on the face of it it's slightly different from 1709 uh, and ever so slightly different from the production version of 1706 uh, previous versions from that looked a little bit different still and um, so so here goes basically in the Config Manager console we're looking in the administration workspace uh, through to cloud services and Azure services now, prior to 1706, I believe the OMS connector was a, um, a sort of little section in its own right, as you can see with the Cloud DP and Cloud Management Gateway. But now it's under Azure Services. Um, I'm guessing, obviously, as more and more services are coming into this that are Azure related, the guys in the product team are trying to bulk them together into one wizard, which uh, makes perfect sense to me. And you can see you can choose OMS connector. However, before we do that, we need to set up a few prerequisites into Azure itself. Um, I'm going to assume that you've already got an OMS subscription in place or an OMS workspace even. Um, if not, you can quickly find that through Log Analytics, which is effectively what OMS is, uh, and create just using the free tier, certainly to begin with. Um, you can create a free tier workspace and have a play around with this. So I'm just going to jump out of here one second. And then we're going to flip back to my Azure and I'll show you the prereqs that you need to set up. It's really uh, fairly straightforward. So, what we need to do is effectively create an app registration in my Azure Active Directory. So, as you can see here, I've gone through to my portal, uh, Azure Active Directory, and app registrations. I'm going to create a new application registration and give it a name. This isn't too important, however, it obviously should mean something significant to you guys if you've got lots of app registrations. Uh, I'm going to leave it as a web app API. Your other option is native, but for this we just need a web app API and we need to provide it with a sign on URL. Now, although we're not going to use this, we need to provide it into um, the app registration um, sort of form if you like. So I'm just going to give it something as simple as OMS Connector. If we click away, we should get two green ticks, which just shows these two um, pieces of information as unique and valid. So if I create my app registration really quickly, there you go. Now, what we need to do is grant that app registration some access to the resource group that your OMS workspace sits in um, so that you can actually access it. So to do that we need to probably jump into log analytics and there's a couple of ways we can do this but I'm just going to look at the resource group that my uh, workspace is in so the one I'm using for this is Peter E and it's in the MMSWEU resource group so if I jump into that resource group you can see access control and I need to basically add the app registration as a contributor into the uh, resource group. So if I hit add, we'll see that we can add a user, a group, or an application. So if I select the role that I want, and as I say, contributor for this, you don't need anything more. Um, I recommend that you just leave it as contributor. And then in here, I just start to type in my OMS connector application. Select there, and you can see it adds it hit save and we should see that pop up in here this is just a previous one that I've done from uh, another demo so that's it we've added the app registration into the resource group so that when a config manager accesses that app registration it can then get through into your OMS workspace and you know have the information into it as it as it requires so if I jump back to my active directory my Azure active directory I should say um, we need to provide various pieces of information back into Config Manager to be able to do this. Um, I created a blog post 
and it's in a couple of places. It's on the WMUG site, as you, as you guys probably know, I do a lot of stuff with WMUG, and it's on my uh, morethanpatches.com website as well. But what I've done is a little sort of comparison table because unfortunately the names in the wizard in config manager do not tally up with the pieces of information that are in Azure they might be a little similar but for someone who's not overly familiar with this um, it's not very obvious let's say so I've got a little notepad to the side I'm gonna go through and copy this information and I'll go through it with you now so the first thing we're gonna need is our um, domain name so for me, I've got my own Microsoft, and my verified one is, uh, sorry, my primary one even is p2e.work. So I'll, I've got that noted down. I also need my directory ID. So this is effectively in the properties of my Azure Active Directory, and it's this um, unique ID down here. So I've just copy that away now. We need the application name, and this is the application registration that we just created. So if I go into here, OMS connector, I can just copy this, make a note of that. We need the application ID. Now in the Config Manager Console wizard, it refers to this as a client ID, but we need the application ID. That is effectively this piece of information up here. So if I copy this away, we also need to create a key so when config manager um, makes the connection it's gonna, obviously going to need some kind of uh, secure method of accessing that so we create a key give it some kind of description I'm just going to use the same name for this and we set a duration on that um, that's up to you probably a year is sufficient I should imagine and we'll, you'll see straight away that we get an expiry date but no value we need to make a note of this expiry date because that's another piece of information that we need so I'll just copy that one away oh, my mistake if I hit the save button you'll see that we get to see the key value and this is a one time only so you can see the warning copy the key value you won't be able to retrieve after you leave this blade so that's a one time only so if I make a note of that and of course the expiry there we go and just to demonstrate that if I go back into my keys you can see that's hidden I can't get into it I can only delete the key now if you lose it for some reason you can just delete the existing key assuming nothing else is using that for some reason or other uh, and then create yourself a new key really quite straightforward uh, the final piece of information that we need is the app URI ID so I go into the properties now in previous versions we only needed this last section of the uh, app ID URI now it seems from tech preview 1710 forward assuming it's not going to change again you need the full path so I'm just going to make a note of that one and copy that one okay so back into my config manager now I've got all the information I need I'm going to give this some kind of name You can only have, at the moment at least, one OMS connector into your config manager. You can have multiple config managers into your OMS, but not the other way around. Now, I know that's been given as feedback for the product group, um, and I think it's on the somewhere, somewhere down the to-do list. So if I choose OMS connector, I'm mostly in the uh, public cloud. You most likely are too, but obviously you've got US government as an option. Now if I import my web app, this is the uh, various pieces of information that we've just been gathering. If I just copy in those pieces of information here. Tenant ID, remember is the Azure Active Directory ID. The name, I use something as simple as OMS connector. And the client ID, which is effectively the application ID paste that in there, my super secret key 
paste that in there too change the date and you can see this wasn't here in previous versions either it gives you an example uh, app ID URI we're going to clear that out and use the app ID URI that we have and hopefully when we hit the verify button we should get successful I've also seen it where it's not successful um, and that can be down to things like permissions don't forget to set the permissions uh, for the app reg into the uh, resource group if we hit OK and then next with a, a little bit of thought hopefully that should gather all the right bits of information so you can see this is the same resource group that I set um, this is my OMS workspace and what we can do is we can add one or multiple um, CCM collections into OMS and OMS will then import the machines that are in that and you can use the collection as a kind of um, target for distributing patches or reporting or things like that um, I recommend that you set up specific collections for this um, for OMS and what I mean by that is basically don't use all systems or things like that if I hit add I've just got one uh, one collection here is my demo lab I'll add that one in and then hit next confirm everything and hopefully you should see the same as I do and close and that is it to set your OMS connector up if you go into the properties of this what can we see same kind of information we just provided um, there you go uh, if, if you want to add further collections later on you can do that in here uh, the other thing that you will need to do if you're going to use SCCM collections in your OMS workspace just finally is in your OMS workspace go into um, settings which is the cog up here you need to go into computer groups and SCCM and make sure you tick this by default it's not ticked uh, mine's ticked because I've, I've done this a couple of times in the past but yeah make sure you tick that once you've done that um, there's, a, there's a time to wait for assessment and that can be up to about 12 hours so um, I'd probably leave it at that and go check it the, the next morning something like that okay uh, enjoy working with your OMS and SCCM together and see what you can come up with uh, and let me know any feedback. It'll be great to hear it. Thanks for now.